That's it. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Sister to Sister. I know it has been a minute, but I'm a mama. I've been running all over the place. As you very well know, we're on lockdown. We're on quarantine, especially in London. I'm holding my phone because I'm speaking to my girlfriend. We do this like literally every day. And so we FaceTime each other. And uh, she is a wonderful woman in her 40s. She's the mother of Irish twins. And she's dating online and she's having all kinds of experiences. So I wanted to have a quick intro because she had a date with, with, with a guy and it was rather interesting. So the subject today is going to be dating online, going for your date during quarantine. Do we settle or do we walk? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Yetunde, Mama Yates. Yes, hello my loves, go in, go in and introduce yourself and give us an intro, my darling. Thank you very much. I'll take it from here. You better watch. And the next episode, hopefully, huh, yet today somehow we'll figure it out where she can be our prime guest and we can talk about her experiences. But let us continue and find out what do we do now that we are on quarantine? Do we settle or do we walk? Do we settle for a £15 lunch or do we walk? <laughs> All right, my love. I love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, what an experience. So that was Yetunde. Yetunde is here in London. Like she rightly said, she's got two children and they are eight and nine respectively. She's still very young, still very sexy, and she wants to go out there and she wants to meet somebody. This year, 2020 was cancelled. It just cancelled a lot of things and it cancelled a lot of romance. Now, here is the thing. I get a lot of letters from you guys and I respond to all of you privately. The number one question is always, how do I handle this relationship? in quarantine do i let him come over and get some cookies do i go over there and let him have some cookies what are my priorities i don't want to be alone i'm scared i'm insecure i need confidence he says he likes me this that and the other all right let's start from the tippy top i am all for dating online go on to as many dating sites that you can get yourself onto sincerely and present yourself the way that you want to be looked upon on the other side seriously you're going to have frogs you're going to have crooks you're going to have all kinds but somewhere hidden in there is a prince i say this because it really is trial and error how many times do you meet people forget quarantine my sister my husband they are constantly working with people they've never met it's all online why not romance you have to have that mentality because it was our grandparents time where you met the significant other at a dance but remember at that time there was no social media <laughs> there were no deliveries you couldn't order online now you can and it's extremely important that you guys talk and this is I think one of the positives of lockdown Instead of you going to the clubs, instead of you going out for a drink and you want to see what he's wearing, what he drives in, what you are wearing, how you're going to show up, all of that is fancy trimmings. It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. If you sit down there just to say, mm, okay, I'll have this. Uh, well, you know, he didn't order this. He ordered that. He only spent this. No. 
Did you guys talk? Where is he from? What are his goals? What are his ambitions? Does he have children? Is he willing to have more children? Is he prepared to relocate for jobs, for, for a better life together? Is he willing to convert to yours? Are you willing to convert to his religion? It's important that you talk because I find out a lot of us just don't talk. Are you physically attracted to him? Is he physically attracted to you? Don't send pictures <laughs> from the neck up <laughs> and say, oh, he'll love my curves and you're a size 24, which is not bad. Let me reiterate, a size 24 is not bad, but let him know that that is what you are. Let her know that you are not 6'5", that you are actually 5'6". There's nothing wrong with it, but she has to have the right to choose because when you're online, you can pick whatever you want, just like he can pick you or not pick you but the point being is that after you get to that past that physical introduction now it's so important for you to talk because you're going to talk like you've never talked before you might be in different countries you might be in different cities it's good to talk and that way you can see if you get along now in talking you're going to find out you have to have your standards don't negotiate your standards. You know why? Because the way you feel about certain things won't change. You don't like fish, you'll never like fish. You just will not like it this way. So if you think, oh, you're, I like him, he's this, I love fish, and then you get into a marriage and this is you still being served fish. <laughs> Find out the most important things. He doesn't have any money, but he's got ambition. He's got money. He's got more money than you can ever imagine because ambition will take you there. He's got children. Find out if there's a baby mama. Is she an issue or not an issue? Because these issues will repeatedly come up in the relationship. Find out. Ask all of the difficult and uncomfortable questions because the issue will come up. That's what it is. There is nothing worse than being alone in a relationship. If you think I'm alone now is bad, being alone in a relationship is worse. And of course, you know, if you have children or whatever, you have property shared together, it is so much harder to get out than it was to go in. You have to put all of that into consideration. Relationships are a work in progress. You work towards it. You're open-minded. You have to be realistic. You can't sit back and say, I want all of these things. I want to be this. I want to that. I want this. I want him to change my life. Poof, be a magician. And you don't have any ambitions whatsoever. It's not going to work. It's a partnership. And guess what? Teamwork makes the dream work. Your heart is broken. That's okay. I'm sending you a huge hug. He's cheated on you. I'm sending you a huge hug. You don't deserve that. Not at all. And for you to start healing, you have to walk away. You have to walk away. It does not matter how many years you have invested in this relationship. And quarantine will test you because you've got nowhere to go. You've got nothing to distract you. And that's the flip side of it, that you are living together. You've been together. You've had issues before quarantine, but all of them are really being magnified. It's time for you to walk. Time for you to click your heels, take your Louboutins and go. I am telling you right now, there's no point in staying in a relationship that is already hemorrhaging. It's going to bleed out and you're going to be miserable. You're going to be so angry, frustrated. Don't be any of these things. Just pick up and go and be grateful for what you had. Be civil in a breakup. There's no need to be bitter. There's no need to be petty. There's no need to be childish. There's no need to bring your family into it. Just pick up and go. Because at one point in time, this was what you wanted and you made that decision yourself. So there are no regrets. None at all. Wear those big girl panties. Wear those big boy boxers and say to yourself, you know what? We had what we had. Let's just hug say goodbye and go and wish her well wish him well and step up and go because there's somebody out there that will love you more and will make you bloom 
even more. You have to always stay positive. Go with the online dating. Try it out. See where it goes and apply the same rules that you would apply if you were going out to see him on a date or whatever. The same rules apply. You want to know exactly what he does. Where does he live? What are his ambitions? Because it's going to play out in the relationship further down. And more often than not, especially girls, because our intuition is always 100%. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. If he doesn't support you or he makes really snarkly comments or so on and so forth, it's not right. Let it go. So, my darlings, take that with you, and I will be back with a sister to sister very, very, very soon, okay? I'm sending you all of my love, light, laughter, and positivity. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>